morning. It's nice to see all of you. Yeah. So I want to tell you a story this morning about someone who lived a long time ago. How long ago do you think a long time ago probably was? Yeah? A millennium? Whoa, a millennium. That is a long, <laughs> long time. Any other guesses? 50 years. Okay, so this is, it's between 50 years and a millennium that we're talking about. <laughs> the person I want to tell you about today, his name was Horace Mann. Have any of you ever heard that name before, Horace Mann? Maybe some of the adults have. There are a few hands out in the congregation. Well, Horace Mann was born over 200 years ago, so somewhere between 50 and a millennium. And this church that we're in today, it's a Unitarian Universalist church, right? So Horace Mann was a Unitarian who lived over 200 years ago. There were actually Unitarians and Universalists around that long ago. And he was a Unitarian like we are. And he grew up in the state of Massachusetts. Have any of you been to Massachusetts before? Some, some hands, yeah. So like, like our state of Pennsylvania, there are some really rural parts where there's a lot of country and farmland. And Horace grew up on a farm. And he grew up in a really poor family on this farm in Massachusetts. And he went to school in what was then called a one-room schoolhouse, where all the children of different ages would be together in this one room learning together side by side and later in life Horace grew to be really interested in politics and especially in education now today we have all kinds of different schools that children go to that I'm sure that you all go to including schools where any children and all children are allowed to go these are called public schools but in Horace's time, the idea that all children could get an education for free and that any kids could go to it, this was still very new. So one of Horace's jobs in Massachusetts was to look after all of the schools across his state. There weren't any cars around during Horace's time over 200 years ago, so he would ride on a horse. Have any of you ridden on a horse before? Yeah, so he would ride on a horse from town to town on this horse. And he did this for six years. Some of you might be about six years old or younger. So basically the entire time that you've been alive, he would ride on horse and he went and visited over a thousand different schools during that time. And he wrote up reports of what he was seeing in all these different schools. One school, he said, was so badly built that if a strong wind had come in, it would just knock the school right down to its foundations. That's how badly built it was. He also saw that a lot of the children would sit on these really hard benches without backs, maybe kind of similar to what you're doing right now, unfortunately. <laughs> and, and they were but for hours and hours, not just for three minutes. And the teachers weren't that well trained, and the books were really old, and there weren't enough for all the kids. And he saw all these things and he just thought, oh, how terrible for our children and the kind of education that they're getting. He actually said that he thought the state of Massachusetts took better care of its cows and its goats and its horses than it did its children. Very sad. But Horace also believed that you could question and you could doubt the things that you saw around you when you thought that they weren't really the way they should be and that you could do things to make it better. And he wanted to make the schools good enough that everyone would want to use them. He wanted them to be good places for all children, no matter whether their families had a lot of money or whether they lived in a city or out in the country. So he thought up a new system of what was called the common schools. And he recommended that all these schools should have chairs with backs on them and a chalkboard where the teacher could write and students could write and books that had all the same information. And that's probably what you find in your own schools today. But most people, especially the ones who were making laws at the time, they didn't really like this idea very much. But he was so passionate about it, Horace was, that eventually the idea caught on. And so this man who had ridden around on horseback from town to town, he helped make it possible for all children to learn and to be educated. So we wanted to share this story with you of someone in our own religious history who 
thought that he could make things better for kids and worked and worked to do that in creating a public school system. So we can all be like Horace Mann, and when we th see things that could be different in the world and better in the world around us, you can each question things and work to make them better. Do you think that's true? Yeah, great, good. And so that's the end of our story, and now we will sing you to your religious education classes with Go Now in Peace. Oh.